what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back it's been a while since i sat here um and record sh actual shows so i'm still on the hunt i'm still on the hunt guys i'm still on the hunt for my ps5 but i'm i'm slowly getting there to the point where i'm just like i'm just gonna be patient i'm just gonna be patient you know like i'm at that stage now you know what i'm saying like i've i've past the depression stage and now it's i'm at that stage of acceptance now you know um i, I really am <laughs> i just feel like you know i'm accepting the fact that i'm not gonna get a ps5 until a huge restock you know um i don't know if it's next year or you know by the end of this year that i get my hands on one but we'll see how it goes but anyways guys we are here for jojo's bizarre adventure i'm diving in promised you guys a couple of episodes this week so this will be out later tonight of course today is thursday so this will be out later tonight have a bunch um of other stuff i, I gotta read through to do today a bunch of stuff i need to do today for the saturday launch of the new schedule so um uh for saturday and sunday actually um so yeah man we're gonna jump into it and i hope you guys enjoy the reaction but before you go of course if you're watching my intro don't forget to like the video that should be the first thing you jump on these videos and do because you know you're leaving you might not remember when you get back but anyways guys if you have not subscribed to the channel please consider doing so hit that notification bell so you know when jojo drop on the channel of course we're gonna keep this journey going on until i'm all caught up with jojo's bizarre adventure so make sure you stay tuned for that anyways guys let's go jump into these reactions i'm curious to see what they're gonna do next or who the next stand user is gonna they're gonna go up against of course there's still the mystery of what um what dio's stand can actually do not necessarily you know just the name we know the name um the world <laughs> you know so that it is a world of possibilities pun intended you know so um let's see what this is about and i will see you guys for the review all right what's going on guys welcome back that was pretty cool man episode 30 and 31 we're getting closer and closer to the end of course of stardust crusaders and i can't wait for them to get the deal because um there's episodes that you guys are excited for you guys have let me know so far the stands that you're looking forward to i think one of them that was mentioned was uh barbie and something else i don't <laughs> i don't know but you guys seem to be excited for those stands that are coming up so um we'll see when we get there but otherwise than that man um this girl here uh maria you know she showed potential she was very smart in the way how she used her stand she was very smart um because at first i was thinking are oh, they gonna get out of this pretty easy but she was very smart enough um until they devised the plan to smush her to <laughs> the pincer attack right um pincer attack that is, is is um it's used in very in various um especially you know in military you'll hear them you'll hear them um you know refer to pincer attacks and, and stuff like that it's basically keeping an enemy's attention while while um friendlies flank it's basically what a pincer attack is. It's all it is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it, it, it's, it's what it's called. And once you have the enemy trapped in the middle, you're able to, to overcome them most of the time. Because now they're going to have to start paying attention to two different directions instead of just one. So pretty cool stuff. Um, You know, I, I like the, the 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 way how they're using this and the way they're going about with these stands um of course man as i said a lot of these episodes they're they're just they're kind of like one off you know what i'm saying we know the journey that they're on they're trying to to save um holly which is um joseph's daughter 
and Jotaro's mom. So we know the journey that they're on and why they're trying to get the deal because they got to take care of Dio. I don't think, I don't know if Dio is going to finally be dead after this season, but whatever the case, Dio is still an OG in the anime that he, he's like, he's the, he's that guy, right? Um, that you can't get rid of. He's like, he's the Orochimaru of Jojo. <laughs> I'm saying, but the only difference between him Orochimaru got a redemption arc. Dio doesn't get redemption arcs. He's just an evil dude that just keeps coming back. He's the he's the freezer of the, the, the series. You know what I'm saying? Like just evil, evil, evil. You know what I'm saying? I mean the Frieza is always gonna be evil. Let's just be honest. He's always gonna be evil. No matter what no matter how you put it, no matter how you place it, he's gonna always be evil. Even after what happened in Super, he's still going to be evil. He did that as a, uh, you know what I'm saying, working with Goku. That was done as, as you know, fan service. And, you know, just to put it in perspective, uh, for us, the viewers, who, have, who would have wanted to see that and, you know, would have never gotten to see it. He was brought back alive and all of that. So... You know what I'm saying? So Dio is like the Frieza of JoJo, you know? So I definitely like what they did, man. This magnetic stand was very um, formidable, more than I expected it to be, to be honest. And it really surprised me. But in any case, guys, that said, it was great two episodes. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Appreciate you guys. And I'll see you guys for the next one. Don't forget to, to like the video. Don't forget to comment. And I will definitely catch you guys later, man. Peace.